Making your Shopify store stand out is key to attracting and retaining customers. One powerful way to do this is by showcasing video reviews on your product page. These reviews not only add credibility to your products, but they also bring a really dynamic and engaging element to your site that static images and text reviews just can't match. Today we're going to get into how you can add video reviews to your Shopify product page using Farrah. When you use Farrah, it's a total breeze, especially for people who don't know how to code. If you already have a collection of video testimonials or product reviews on social media, you can definitely use Farrah to show that on your product page. So I'm going to show you how Farrah can streamline this for you. Before we get started, hi, my name is Jamila. I'm the marketing manager at Farrah. I also own the Shopify store, Alora Boutique. You can go ahead and take a look at it on the screen here. And let's get into why Farrah is the best reviews app and it's gonna be your go-to choice for leveling up your Shopify store with video reviews. Let's talk about why Farrah is the app that you're gonna to wanna to use for your video reviews. First of all, it's super user-friendly, out of the box, whether you're tech savvy or not, integrating video reviews onto your product page is super straightforward. It has a really intuitive dashboard and you can start uploading and managing your videos in no time. You can also start requesting reviews from your past customers and asking them for videos right away. The second reason you're gonna to wanna to use Farrah is because you can customize it to match your brand. So we have a lot of really great out of the box themes. We have the neutral theme, we have the bold theme, playful theme, whatever you want, you can get and you can also customize it to match your store. You can use your own fonts, your own colors, whatever you want, you can get it done. The third reason is that Farrah is lightning fast when it comes to loading your videos. Of course, Farrah has a built-in performance in mind, so we're not gonna slow down your site when people click on your videos to see what other customers have had to say about your product, it loads like that. Okay, and the fourth reason you're gonna to wanna to use Farrah is because it really makes it easy for customers to leave video reviews video reviews and photo reviews, but basically the submission flow is super seamless and people can upload a video on their desktop or on their mobile phone. Okay, now let's talk about how to prepare your video reviews or UGC content to add to your Shopify product page. First, you're going to want to gather and organize your videos. So if you have videos that are maybe on TikTok or on Instagram, you can use the URL and um, you can make sure that you add those into Farrah. So one thing that I would suggest is to really have a dedicated folder, maybe on your Google Drive or your box, your Dropbox or whatever, and label your videos clearly by product name or reviewer so that you can always find and manage your video reviews later. This step is gonna save you a lot of time when you're ready to upload, maybe you're uploading from your Google Drive, then it's gonna be a lot easier to do that. The other thing is to stick to really popular formats, like don't try to get crazy with anything, just use popular formats like MP4. This is widely supported and known for its high quality relative to its smaller file sizes. The next thing is to make sure that your um, videos are not too large. While 4K is definitely what everybody wants to see, they're not always practical for the web because of their large size. So aim for a happy medium like 1080p or even 720p should be fine. Now again, this is if you already have videos outside of Farrah that you haven't collected through Farrah. Uh, just make sure when you're uploading your videos that they are of a high quality, but also a small size. So try to find that the happy medium there. Now the next thing is that if you have have like a longer video testimonial from a customer or something just try to cut it down keep it short and sweet attention spans are short people just really want to know how the product looks kind of what the benefits are so you can kind of crop any long videos that you've had maybe gotten from influencers to 30 seconds to about a minute then the next step is to simply upload your videos to Farrah I'm going to show you how to do that in this next screen, so just stay tuned. Okay, so this is the part where we're gonna talk about how you can add your videos to Farrah. So basically head over to farrah.ai or go to the Shopify store and click sign up or add app, and you're gonna go ahead and install Farrah on your Shopify store. Once you've done that, go ahead and poke around the dashboard. It's super user-friendly, but this is just a quick tour on how you can navigate to the video. So basically just uh, navigate to reviews and then you can go ahead and click on video reviews and then you can upload your videos. So again, you can either um, add them by a URL or you can upload them and then you can attach them to your specific product. Next, you're gonna go ahead and add a widget. So you can either add a review carousel or you can just add reviews in general to your product page and Farrah will automatically sort your uh, reviews so that the most valuable ones show up first. So that means photos and videos will show up first. 
And now you can adjust your layout and design. You can choose various customization options. Um, so just do whatever you want here to make sure that it matches your brand. Now, like I said before, Farrah automatically um, will adjust your video so that they load lightning fast, but just make sure that everything works before you um, publish your widget. Now, one thing that I do want to keep in mind is that you should have the right to use and display these videos on your website. If you use Farrah to ask for reviews, we have something built in where uh, if somebody uploads a review, then they are abiding by your terms and services. But make sure that if you're taking them from social media or using an influencer, that you have obtained the rights to use these reviews. Now that you have your videos, you want to make sure that you're continuing to get a lot of video reviews from your customers. So what you should do is you should set up an automatic campaign within Vera, and this is going to make sure that you're requesting video reviews after a certain period. So you can either decide to request a video review immediately when somebody purchases, a certain time after fulfillment, or upon delivery, or a certain time after delivery. These are options that really depend on the type of product that you have. We have some other videos on when to request reviews and kind of what incentives to offer. So since we're talking about incentives, you can offer things like discounts, loyalty points, or even cash back, especially if you're asking for a video, you're really asking for a lot for your customer. So make sure that you incentivize them properly, but make sure that they know that they don't have to leave a good review in order to get the incentive. Let's say you asked for a video review, but you haven't heard anything back from your customer. You can make sure that you send a follow-up email to your customer. So in theory, you can ask for another review about seven days or so after they've gotten your email but haven't responded. This is really good because a lot of times people get busy and they want to leave you a review, especially if they had a really good experience with you, but they just simply forgot. Next, don't be scared to share your reviews on social media. When you share them on social media, it shows that you really care about the reviews that your customers have left and it encourages your new customers to leave a review in the hopes that they get featured on your social media platform as well. And don't forget to tag the people who left your review. This shows your appreciation and gives them the proper credit. Okay, that's it. Now you know all that you need to get video reviews, collect them from the web, put them on your website, and really start building that trust and improving your conversions. If you have any questions, just let us know. You can leave your questions in the comments and I'll also make sure that I leave some really helpful tools and tips in the description as well. Happy selling.